My name is Joey, and this story begins with an unexpected twist. It was late in the season, and my dad, who had always been known for his frugality, dropped a bombshell on the family, a surprise vacation, even though school had already started. What intrigued me the most about this surprise was the destination, Mystery Island. My sister, Martha, and my mom thought it would be entertaining to see my dad and me experience a week living as girls. Dad had a vacation fund that could cover the entire trip, which made him thrilled. As for me, a guy who had never been on a date, I was about to be a girl for a whole week. The excitement was palpable. Mystery Island was just a plane ride away, and as the aircraft descended for landing, my family and I were glued to the windows, eager to catch a glimpse of our mysterious destination. The adventure truly began at the airport. After clearing customs and immigration, there was a portal that marked the boundary where the island's radiation field would transform everyone into females. I couldn't contain my enthusiasm and raced ahead, becoming the first one through. The days on Mystery Island passed quickly, filled with fun and unexpected moments. Erin, the girl version of me, embraced the experience with confidence. My friends back home would never believe how much fun I was having as a girl. Martha kept teasing me about my newfound femininity, but I didn't mind. I was determined to make the most of this unique vacation. However, as the week neared its end, it was time to pack our bags and head back home. Aaron waited for the rest of the family to walk back through the portal before taking my turn. As each person passed through, the portal emitted a small snapping sound, signifying the transformation back to their original gender. But when I walked through, there was silence. Confusion gripped me until I realized that nothing had changed. My mom gasped, and Martha couldn't help but snicker. What? I asked, perplexed. That's when it hit me, I was here to stay as Aaron. I took the name Aaron and posed for a photo outside my bungalow, exuding a newfound confidence. The vacation had been nothing short of thrilling, and I had worked hard to look both sexy and demure. My friends at school would never believe the extraordinary adventure I had as a girl on Mystery Island. A kind customs and immigration agent explained that once or twice a year, a male visitor to Mystery Island didn't transform back. This year, I was that lucky girl. Martha, with an ear-to-ear -ear grin, said, Bet your friends believe you now. And indeed, my life had taken an unexpected turn, leaving me with a unique story to tell and an identity as Erin, the girl who found herself on Mystery Island. Life as Erin on Mystery Island was an unexpected adventure that had taken a peculiar turn. As the weeks turned into months, I embraced my new identity with a mix of excitement and trepidation. There were so many aspects of being a girl that I had never considered before, from clothing choices to makeup and hairstyling. One of the most significant changes in my life was the way I interacted with people. As a girl, I noticed that strangers treated me differently, and I had to navigate social situations with a new perspective. While some of it was fun and liberating, there were also moments of frustration and confusion as I adapted to the nuances of female friendships. I had formed close bonds with some of the women on the island who knew about my unique situation. They became my confidants and mentors, guiding me through the intricacies of womanhood. They taught me about everything from fashion and makeup to the intricacies of female friendships and the challenges that women face in their daily lives. One of the most rewarding aspects of my new life as Erin was the opportunity to explore the island's culture and traditions. I participated in local ceremonies, learned traditional dances, and even became skilled in preparing the island's renowned dishes. The island's vibrant culture became a part of my identity, and I relished every moment of this unique experience. Erin also discovered a newfound sense of empathy for the struggles women faced in a world that often underestimated and marginalized them. This newfound understanding fueled a desire to advocate for women's rights and empowerment, and I became actively involved in local initiatives that aimed to uplift women in the community. Despite the initial shock of not transforming back to my original gender, my family had been incredibly supportive. They visited me regularly, and we cherished the time we spent together on Mystery Island. My sister Martha, who had playfully teased me in the beginning, had become one of my closest allies, helping me navigate the complexities of being a girl. 
As the years passed, I found myself at peace with my new identity as Aaron. I had built a fulfilling life on Mystery Island, had a network of wonderful friends, and was contributing to the community in meaningful ways. The island had given me a second chance at life and an opportunity to understand the world from a completely different perspective. Aaron's journey was one of unexpected transformation, and it had become a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. Life as a girl on Mystery Island had taught me that gender was not the defining aspect of my identity, but rather the experiences and connections I formed along the way. I had embraced this new chapter in my life and was determined to make the most of it.